Hey, this is Serena Muhammad um, at Date Academy in my STEAM classroom. I wanted to make this video for the science conference coming up in Stone Mountain, Georgia, so that I can give y'all a tour of my STEAM room before my workshop. Since I couldn't bring my room to you, I'll bring what I can, but I wanted to give you a visual of what my STEAM classroom looked like and things that I used as accessible in the STEAM classroom um, that I, and how I used it basically. So I want to start off, I won't be maybe in a whole video, I might be just showing you the classroom and then I'll tell you about the classroom and parts of what I use. But I want to start off with the rug area as most teachers have a rug area. I'm fortunate enough to have a very large area and what we do on my rug area, I use the um, smart board right in front to incorporate technology um, so far as dancing, uh, games, interactive activities with the smart board and things like that. Um, I'm going to step back and show you the room. As you can see, I have um, the books, posters, um, interactive things they can use such as touching and feeling that we can easily pull from the side. Um, the plant that I plan to bring in, the plant is the aloe vera plant. Um, I think that's important because we actually use the plant. I don't only have a plant that, um, you know, for decoration or for beauty, which is very important as well as oxygen in your classroom, but I have a plant that we can actually use if the kids have a little cut, of course. Um, so also, as you can see to um, the left, I guess your left, is the tables. Um, I use the tables uh, without the chairs. I used to use chairs, but one day I, I was looking around, trying to always think out the box, and um, the kids like moving around, you know, they like, uh, basically, I removed the chairs. I removed the chairs um, because uh, kids like moving. And I, I thought, let's try this, and it, it really worked out well. They get to move around. Um, they can get a chair if they want to. I have chairs stacked up if they choose to use it. Um, in my steam room, you can also see the posters. I have, um, I have the posters, if you look on the back wall, um, visual posters, of course, dealing with steam as well as um, live animals in the back. I have a frog as well as a gecko. Mm, I have the heating lamp for plants to incorporate the science. Let's just go over the different aspects of STEAM um, that I've included in the classroom. I have the posters on top with the different aspects of STEAM so, so far as science, um, or, yeah, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics. So of course the science is involved with everything I already talked about um, so far as the plants, the grow light, um, the animals, things like that. Um, technology we talked about with using the smart board and the kids interacting with it. Of course if you have access you can use the computers and the iPad that you would have in your classroom or you can get from your classroom to, from the librarian in most cases and meet a specialist. Um, STE. E engineering. Um, I have this, the connects right here is the connects. I'll bring a couple of those in, which it de deals with building. Um, of course, there's a lot more. I think you can do dominoes, you can do Legos, you can uh, use recycled material to build things with. Have I have one of those bins back there? You see, I have a lot of bins. Um, one of those bins back there actually have all recycled material inside of it. So you can use recycled material um, to do the engineering aspect as well. Um, of course, art. I have a whole bin um, in the back with art supplies, with the newspaper, of course your paint, your paint brushes, um, construction paper, white paper, plates. So I try to have that where the kids can access it in one of those drawers back there. They can easily go back there and get it on their own um, in reference to the art. And of course we know that's not just art, visual art, but um, there's other art mediums that we use so far as in the cabinets, in the back, in those cabinets, it's full of supplies, including 
art supplies, um, building supplies, engineering, you know, straws, um, tape. Um, it, it, it's endless. Maybe I'll get the key and pull a few things out of um, the cabinet that is very affordable and that is um, easily accessible that you can use over and over again. Um, I keep little things around my classroom um, that kids can play with. For instance, like this little bug, and I'll probably bring this in as well. Um, but the little bug, the kids, you know, in their free time or whatever, they can actually use this. And it's engineering. And it moves. It actually walks. I don't think you can see it. But I'll bring this in. And it's a toy that can be built by the students. Very simple, um, so simple circuit with a motor, engine, on and off, off switch, recycled can uh, used, again. And again, that can be um, for engineering, for fun, for visual, things like that. Um, I also use things, gonna go on this side of the room, uh, like, um, of course, you can use musical instruments. I've seen somebody use a xylophone um, for transition, to get their attention. Uh, for order, things like that. Um, I also use uh, a wind chime. Kids really like the wind chime. So I have a wind chime hanging up, and kids really love this. Um, dealing with music, go, going back to the art, whether you want to use a xylophone, um, whether chimes, might want to use a drum, Many things you can use so far as music is concerned for transition or to get them to quiet down uh, when you're trying to get their attention. Um, a few other things I want to point out and then I'm going to go ahead and sign off or show you a few things in the cabinet. But let me put the wind chimes up. I keep on hand, I'm going to come back over there. I keep on hand uh, garden materials so you can go outside, whether it's a bucket with your shovels, you know, you got your shovels and your garden tools um, to take outside to go planting. Um, you can keep that in the classroom, you know, so far as incorporating math, of course, in gardening, as well as science. Um, I already talked about the grow light. I might talk a little when I come in about the hydroponics. I have, I'll try to show it to you. I have a hydroponics unit that I'm going to set up again. We took all, we had like a five foot plant uh, growing from the beginning of the school year with the kindergarten class. Um, and we grew that in the classroom uh, with the hydroponics. But again, you can just use a basic grow light that I have um, in the back. Here is the grow light. Here is the hydroponic system with the light. Um, not as difficult as you may think it is so far as um, setting up and using. And of course, uh, your library, the books, right <laughs> right there. Of course, you have your books. Um, I'm going to show you a few things maybe out of my cabinets. Um, golly. Of the cabinet fully, but a thing that you can very easily um, hopefully it's still there. 